Oh yeah, you can okay. see good. Hi guys, Careful so, sorry, sorry. Liz and I are here today to, um, we're gonna go through some meal prep and how we do it. It's mostly gonna be how she does it and I'm gonna video it, but um, yeah, so, hi. Okay, so first thing I like to do is um, sweet potatoes. It's one of the starches that I try to stick to uh, during the week. Um, so I cut it up, slices, uh, you can really do whatever you want. Uh, wrap it in tin foil. I like to put it into the foil pan, less cleanup. Um, I brush it with a little bit of coconut oil right here. And then a little cinnamon on top. And flip it over. And throw it in the oven. The next thing I like to do um, are my greens. Um, asparagus are one of the greens that I stick to. I uh, cut, you know, cut the bottom off, clean them, cut them, uh, brush them with a little bit of olive oil or whatever oil you like. I use macadamia nut oil, um, but you should use, you know, extra virgin olive oil. You can use coconut oil, just a little, just to, uh, just to give it a little bit of a base. Uh, and then I will put um, a dash of onion powder, or you can do salt and pepper, or even just lemon juice if you want to just keep it pretty simple. Uh, same thing. Put these in the oven at about 350, 375. These go, these take really quick. Um, I try not to let them get totally wilted because they can get gross. Um, just I like them so they have a little bit of still of a you know a tough texture to them. Um, one of the the meats or meat I like to stick to during the week. It's 93% lean, so it's really good, and I like to make it in big batches. Uh, is ground turkey. Uh, BJ sells it for three separate packages, a pound each, so three pounds. Uh, to me, it's one of the best deals around because you can separate a pound package, throw it in the freezer, take it out, whatever is easier for you. Um, I like to do a couple different things with this. I either saute it with taco seasoning, it's probably one of my favorites, um, or I chop up peppers and onions, saute those in a pan separately and then add them to the ground turkey after I've cooked that and browned that a little bit. Uh, just to give it a little bit of a different flavor. Uh, I usually will add onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and a little fennel seed. Um, you don't have to do that. The fennel just gives it a little bit extra flavor to it so it's not, you know, it's not bland. Um, eating healthy doesn't mean you have to be boring. Uh, brown rice. I cook a big batch of this too on Sunday as well. Uh, pretty easy. Just put it in the pan. Uh, it takes about 35 minutes. At the end, I like to add a little cilantro on top just for a little bit of flavor. You don't want to use butter when you do the water in the pan. Try to use extra virgin olive oil just a little bit. Uh, I don't even use salt. Uh, the flavor has enough, uh, the rice has enough flavor to it that I really don't need salt added. The other item that I like to make um, is it's either. Uh, rolled oats for breakfast or steel cut oats. Steel cut oats I like a little bit better. I feel like I can digest them a little bit better. So those are the kind of the carbs that we stick to, um, you know, when you are trying to get on a better routine. The other one I like to stick to is quinoa. Um, this is a rainbow quinoa, which I love. It's really good. Um, so you want to kind of stay away from the white starches, you know, your white breads, white rice, um, that's just one of the big things that I try to. Liz is washing her Brussels sprouts. <laughs> they are really good. So I, we do it two ways here. Um, I like to either just saute them or oven roast them. Um, or what I've been doing now, just to give them a little bit of a different flavor, is I've been shredding them and I've been sauteing red onion and some red onion here and then some shredded carrot in the pan with the shredded Brussels sprouts mm -hmm. uh, and then at the end I add a little balsamic uh, vinegar just a little bit just to give it some flavor. but this is another way of enjoying a vegetable without it being boring the next green item that I, I usually get already cut up now because I find cutting up green beans and washing them 
uh, green beans, they sell them at Whole Foods like this, so it's already cleaned and they're already cut and trimmed. They're you know, tender to touch. I'll take it out, put it in a bowl. Um, I like to do a little uh, red wine vinegar and olive oil and salt and pepper. Just something, you know, doesn't have to be a lot of flavor. I, I mean, that gives it enough flavor if you let them soak in the olive oil and the red wine vinegar. For on top of the ground turkey is chicken, another really good lean meat. Um, but what I like to do is we buy probably about 10 or 20 pounds of it, um, chicken breast, cut it up, mark the bags. This was in the freezer, so this already came out. So this is got an adobo seasoning on it, which is pretty simple. And then it just saute in a pan um, or grill it. Um, the other thing too that we buy um, is bison. Mm. Um, one of my favorites, I don't really digest ground beef too well and I really don't like the flavor of ground beef. Uh, bison's probably one of the leaner uh, red meats that you can find. And so, it's the best burger I've ever had. It's a bison yeah, burger. Yeah, it's really, really good. You'll never um, go back. This is an all natural one. Again, BJ's does sell this. Um, we buy a lot of it. Um, John eats, you know, likes to eat it. Uh, again, taco seasoning, uh, or you can just do onion powder, garlic powder, or even make um, burger patties. Cook those and have them during the week uh, to use, you know, on top of the salad, or even just to take with your meal. All right, Liz, what are we doing now? Uh, I'm gonna make the uh, Brussels sprouts uh, with the carrot and red onion. Um, first I'm gonna saute the red onion. Is that that macadamia nut macadamia oil? Macadamia nut oil. Yeah, it's one of the good fats that I like to use now. Okay. So I'll say that first until the red onion should be get, become a little translucent. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. Um, probably until the Brussels sprouts kind of start getting a little bit of a golden brown to them. Um, and then we'll add the carrot, let that settle down a little bit too. Uh, and then the balsamic at the very end. I now like everything to kind of have like a little bit of a brown coat on it. Gorgeous. Okay, uh, very end, um, a little bit of balsamic. Liz, what are you doing back there? You're like causing all A little bit of oil in the middle. Just a little bit and then kind of coat it. Okay, those will be in there for a little bit. I know it doesn't look as appetizing as it should. So what I kind of do is I like to press it down because I like it to get a really nice brown coat on it. Uh, and then I'm, I season it quite a few times throughout the process. Make sure you keep checking your peppers and onions as well. So onion powder, and be generous with this. Garlic powder, a little bit of salt. Um, of salt I like to use it? sea salt, um, either sea salt or Himalayan salt. Uh, a little black pepper. And then I told you before that I use fennel seed. I like the flavor of fennel seed. You don't really need too much. What's uh, it taste like? You wanna try a piece? Sure. It's like almost like a, I think anise, right? A little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Oh yeah, it's like it's like nice anise nuts. cookies. Yeah, nice. So, um, so I'm gonna keep that. Probably let that sit like that for a little bit until I get kind of like a really nice brown coat on the bottom, and then I'm gonna flip it. Once I start flipping it, I'll season it again, um, just so that the flavors get soaked into the meat. The peppers and onions, I don't need to really add anything to because you're adding it to the meat. So they're gonna pick up the flavor of the meat once I add that to it. The other thing too is, if you go to BJ's, they sell mixed greens. I don't keep it in this because I feel like if you do keep it in this, um, the moisture builds up, it gets a little wilted and this takes up a lot of useless room in the fridge. So um, I break it into two um, big Ziploc bags. That way, I can keep it in the fridge and not you don't you know take up so much space with this box. Mm -hmm. The last thing that we're making, um, steaming some green beans. Um, 
again, these only take a few minutes. Uh, when those are done, I'll take them out. I put them into a bowl. Um, I'll do a little bit more of olive oil and macadamia nut oil. I do a little red wine vinegar and then just some salt and pepper. And that's it. All right, guys. So hopefully that helped you a little bit, like figure out your meal prep. And um, she's the master. So if you have questions, ask her in the group. Look her up on Facebook, Elizabeth Kaliba. Prep. It's going to make your life a lot easier, and it's going to make being on a diet or you know changing your lifestyle to eat healthier a lot easier. Anything else you can think of? Yep. No, just the more. Set a time to prepare your food for the week because the more prepared you are, the more successful you're going to be. And that's the whole point of this. We don't want something to come up. It's life, let's be honest. Things come up every day, you know. Your baby has an ear infection, you have to go to the doctors, you're scrambling, you don't have time. Make Eliminate that risk of you not getting it done by already having it pre prepared. You've already done it all in your meal prep hour. It took us an hour, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, at the first time it might take a little longer, but you're gonna get it down. Just keep doing it. Set that time in like it's a meeting, like with your boss or something. You don't want to miss it. It's on your schedule, and you have it done, and you're ready to go, and you're going to be successful because there's no excuse. You have it in your fridge. You're ready to go. You don't have to cook. You just grab it and go. So. This is helpful for me, so I can eat healthier during the week. I know Jamie does the same thing, mm -hmm. um, and it just allows us to stay consistent. So good luck. And we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.